Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. I hope you're all having a good week. I hope you're safe and healthy. Um, I've been sick the past few days, feeling much better today. I wanted to show you some video footage that I took at my Aldi on Friday night. Um, empty shelves. I haven't seen shelves so empty. My hair. Okay, I haven't seen shelves so empty in my stores as they were, as I saw Friday night. Um, it was the first of the week, it was a Friday, so there are all of those factors that play in, but still, there was a time when, even on Friday, on the first of the month, you, you don't see shelves that empty, okay? So, I did do video some, and I'll show you that video here in just a minute. Um, they did not like for me videoing, so I put my camera away quickly. I'm always a little bit shy about videoing in public because I, I don't want to get people in my video, don't want to make people around me feel uncomfortable. But there weren't very many people in Aldi's that night and I just thought it would be a good opportunity to show you a store in my area. But nope, they did not, they didn't want me doing that. So, okay, that's fine. I put my camera away, but I do have some video to show you all here in a minute. Um, I just want to come on and say the same thing that I know you're hearing from everyone else, but I have to say it. Things are not good right now. Things are not good in our country. Things are not good in the world, internationally. When we hear the news, it's usually not good right now. So all I can say about that is prepare, prepare, prepare. Get the things that your family needs. And this is the time to do that. Um, keep your car gas tanks, keep your gas tanks topped off right now because tomorrow there's no telling what the price of gas will be. It was $3.98 a gallon here Friday and Britt got home from work last night, which was Monday, and he said it was $4.59 in our area. So from Friday night to Monday afternoon, it jumped 60 cents. That's a big jump, you know. That's We've never seen gas prices this high in my area. I know they're higher than that other places. Um, and I kind of think they're probably going to, they're going to keep going up. And when gas prices go up, everything goes up. So we can know. We can look at what's going on. We can know that our prices are going to get higher. Things are going to get harder to buy, harder to find. Um, this is the time to get what you need get what you need. I just keep saying that and I don't want to be repetitive and I know all of that, but I just, that's my heart. That's my YouTube channel right now. My purpose is to encourage other people to be ready for um, emergency situations. And this is, I don't want to call this an emergency situation. I will call this a time to be aware and be prepared. As much as you can afford, I, I, I pray that you are, um, stocking up stocking up my focus right now is on my um the basics the cooking from scratch type of ingredients i am my i've got flour salt pepper spices and seasonings um sugar baking powder baking soda yeast um all of those things that i would need to bake bread for my family i think i have enough supplies to make bread for a year I think, I hope, you know, um, because bread is on my mind because, um, you know, what we hear in the news that Ukraine and Eastern Europe supplies a lot of our wheat and flour. So, yeah, if those supplies are no longer coming to us, then we need to be able to find a way to feed our families, right? So, um that would be my encouragement, flour. And um, when you get flour, I've got right here beside me, I've got a 25 pound bag of flour and I will put that in my freezer and freeze it for three days. And um, then I will bag it up and put it in a long-term storage container in my prepper pantry. My focus right now is on getting staple ingredients in because I think that's gonna be the cheaper way to go. I've noticed um, I'm, I'm, a, the type of shopper that if I'm in a hurry or going through a busy time or a lazy time, I will just load up on Little Debbie's or cookies or 
you know, the snack cakes, the snack, the chips, the crackers, the those kinds of things. And I've never thought anything about it. I do like to bake. I bake my own things. I bake my own bread, all, all of that. But golly, you should go online or go to the store and price those convenience snacks, those little Debbie snacks. They're very, very expensive now. It's just getting to the point, the prices are, have increased to the point, I can't justify paying $4 and something for a box of Little Debbie snack cakes when I can bake a batch of cookies for $1.50 to $2 and you've got three or four dozen cookies there. I mean, the price is, it's to the point now, it's, it's not rational to go spend that much money on processed, prepared food when you can make your own for so much so much less money and um so that's that's kind of where i'm headed right now when watching the inflation and the prices i want people to be able to stock up and have what they need to get through these tough times because i think times are going to get tougher than we're seeing right now um and i think we've always i've always heard the shtf you know when the stink hits the fan situation and I don't think it's going to be an event as much as it's going to be a process and I think we're seeing that right now with with the um, supply chain disruptions the increased prices the inflation the availability of products that we need um, the unrest overseas and um, you're just seeing so many things lining up right now that tells me that it's it's a good time to get what we need it's time to get prepared, people. All right, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to show you my footage from Aldi's, and I will talk to you later. Okay, this is the bakery aisle with the cookies and um, snack items, crackers. To the left is the chips. They were pretty well stocked. I think the breakfast cereal, and then there's more chips. The bakery aisle was really had some gaps, I noticed, especially like towards the back of the shelves and along the bottom shelf at the back of the bottom shelf was really not well stocked. Um, yeah, here's the Pam. Well, it's actually cooking spray. It was $1.69 a can at Aldi's and at Sam's the other night, it was $12.98 for two cans. So that was a huge savings to get it at Aldi's. I also found garlic powder at Aldi. I paid 97 cents for two small containers of garlic powder. Then we're on the soup aisle. The ramen is really lacking, <laughs> and but they did have plenty of canned soups. And the vegetables, canned vegetables and fruits, they were well stocked with some items and some items there were there were gaps. There's canned fruit. And then walking down to the canned vegetables, there's, you know, there's some gaps, especially that bottom, the bottom shelf towards the back that just really did not have it well stocked. But they did have, some things were very well stocked. The canned meats were well stocked. There you can see tomato products were well stocked. See the prices. Uh, beef stew is $1.89 for a can at Aldi. I've been paying $2 and something at Walmart. And here's the dairy case, and it was very empty. I saw my Aldi store and the gaps in the shelf and the empty shelves behind the first row of, of grocery items. And um, there's still a lot of things. I mean, the, there were some of the shelves were well stocked, weren't they? But I just wanted to kind of let you know what, what things are like in my area. And let me know how things are in your area as well. What are gas prices doing in your area? I'm interested to know what's going on in your area as well. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this video. I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. I'd love to grow my channel and new subscribers are always exciting. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.